What is going on everybody, it's your boy Slap Train and welcome guys to some Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. This is a brand new Let's Play that we're going to be starting up. You guys kind of recommended Carbon and Shift 2 Unleashed so I figured we go pick these two up and we start doing a Let's Play on these. Now I'm very excited to start up Shift 2. It's more of a different style than what we've been playing. Now you know we've been used to you know the arcade racer style. Um, and stuff like that. Let me just turn on my notifications real quick. But we've been kind of used to the arcade style racing, where this is kind of more of a simulation style racing. So I'm. I have a feeling this is gonna be a big damn let's play, man. This is gonna be epic right now. Here we go, making our player profile. Hope we get to customize our guy and everything like that. That'll be pretty dope. This game's got to be sponsored by Falcon Tire, man. Look at the damn suit this man's wearing right here. Oh. Yep, there's my email. Appreciate it. Share anonymous usage. Whatever. Continue. Let's go, baby. Yo, we got a damn pass. We don't even need no damn pass. Looks like online is still up and running right now, man. Let's go, baby. Starting this damn career mode. So you want to be a professional driver. Uh-huh. Pretty sure that's Von Gittin's voice right there. I got goosebumps right now, guys. This is intense, this game. This is dope right now. There's that formula drift sign, baby. Let's go. It's a nonstop battle. That is Von Gittin, guaranteed. I'm almost certain of it. battle with your fear. A battle with the course. And a battle with the other drivers. Yeah, buddy. The power and speed playing you in the seat. Look at that Lyra. The best feeling on Oh, her. that damn drift. I'm Von Gittin Jr. Form of the DJ. Call that shit. Let's go. There's this race coming up, and I want you to enter. I've borrowed this GTR for oh you. Oh, my It's got some God. serious parts on it. Before you race, you gotta get some practice. Okay. This game is dope right now. This is insane, man. We got some actual Formula Drift shit going on right now. Oh my god, man. Alright, so beat the following target times for easy 110, medium 102, and hard 56. Now I'm really hoping. We're going to go okay on this one here. Man, this game is going to be epic, though. I can already tell by the way we started this out. All right, you're gonna get okay, guys. To Let's make I'll this R35 positive. work right now. I'll have some settings for you. Who? Oh, wait. I didn't shift that. Why? Did our settings not stay the same? Traction. We'll go low. Stability, yes. Best line, no. We don't need no damn best line. Come on, now. And why do we not have any shifting right now? Where's our shifting at? I guess we can't touch that as of yet. We gotta wait. Anti-locking, braking, yes, I want that on. Traction, low, stability, yes, blah, blah, blah. You know what, let's just, uh, yeah, we'll just keep it the way it sits right now. We're gonna save this. And we should be good. But here we go. I don't know why, but it's shifting on its own though. Okay. It's best to enter corner slow and accelerate hard. Ooh. Oh, we're killing this right now. This is Suzuka, man. Fan favorite track right here. I love this track. Try and keep this nice and straight. Our head is automatically turning to the corners. Like, that is just dope. Come on, hold this, bitch. This is a lot different than damn carbon, though. I'll tell you that right now. Actually, more of like an actual racing simulation so it's gonna take me a little bit though guys so don't hate on me right now just let me get it back in the grooves right here jeez we are all over the damn road right now can we change cameras okay we get there we go get a little bit better here oh listen to that turbo just spool down that was dope all right what other cameras we got we got a hood view and the cockpit view which is really sick but this thing's shifting on its own right now, man. It's shifting up on its own. I don't know why. Man, one lap down. Keep pushing. 
Alright. Here we go. Let's try and keep this a nice, smooth lap right here. Stay on that inside. Oh, shit! That rear end's coming out, though. No, 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 no. Stay in the grass. Stay in the grass. I so wish that I had my wheel right now, man. How dope would this game be with a wheel for 360? God. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have a wheel right now, go and get this damn game ASAP. Like, now. Go get it. Just kidding. Just wait. Wait until the game gameplay's done. You know what I'm saying? Wait, Joe. Gotta be smooth with throttle and steering. Oh, I'm smooth, Von Gittin. I'm smooth right now. Here we go. C coming out hard. Let's go. We're getting this damn time right now. Let's go. We have 51, 52. What do we need to be? 56. Come on. Did we get it? Not so bad for a beginner. Tell me we okay. got the hard one. We had the 56 race. seconds, though. Just a matter of if we got it within like the thousands of a second. Let's go do some racing. What did we try to... I don't know what we had to beat, though. Alright, we're going to go pro for that. Just for right now, I feel like this game is going to be a lot tougher than uh, Forza is going to be. We're going to go with low traction, unless we're drifting, of course. Stability is not going to be on. Full damage, best line, no. We don't want that, alright? So we're going to continue with what we got. I think that we didn't beat the time. i got to look back and see what they wanted. But uh, here we go. So this is going to be a two-lap race. We have eight opponents going down. Your finishing position in this race will determine which difficulty settings is recommended to you and how much starting cash you will have to purchase your first car in your career ahead. I love the fact that we have an actual career mode to work with right now. That is the main thing. This is why I love games back, you know, a couple years ago is because they had career modes. They had garages where you go, you start your career mode, you work your way up. Almost the same as Race Driver. Nice turnout. We got some Porsches, some Corvettes, a couple of GTRs, some real track day weapons out there. So finish strong and you'll earn enough to buy your own car. Hell yeah, man. Those are some sick ass cars we got going right now. Here we go. This is a big right, race, this man. This is it, man. Go get them. We got our coffee. I'm injecting coffee into me right now just so I can get hyped up. Ooh, that R35 though. Let's go, baby. Woo! Come on, that's the green light. That first gear though is a damn launch. Here we go. We got a full pack right now. I'm gonna try and keep this as sim as possible. Same track, Suzuka. You need to be aggressive, but you gotta give the Oh other yeah, take that inside from him. Here we go. This is some epic racing right now, guys. Come on, R35. You got this, big girl. This thing's a monster, this thing. Here we go. Oh, shit. Take that outside line with the Porsche. Is that an actual Porsche or is that a rough in this game? I don't know. Oh, shit. We just cut him off a little bit. Good thing he's a good driver. He took the outside with us. There's our back view. Oh, shit. This game is dope. This game is sick, man. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about right now. This is a true game West right left. here. You got this. We're doing 242. We better slow our asses down here before we go off the damn track. Jeez. I will give this a shot, though, with the full elite experience on, though, to see what we can do. All right. Try to find a good rhythm we are six end. seconds above everybody right now. Oh, shit. Here we go. Don't slide out though, that all-wheel drive is coming in big for us right now. You guys can tell we're starting to slip out, and those rear tires are just pushing us through the corner. And the fronts as well. Here we go! Hit that rumble strip perfectly. Oh shit. Right, man. You're doing it. Oh, we had to correct just ever so slightly on that. So we have two laps, so this is the final lap right now. We're looking very nice. That's it, man. You're almost there. Oh, a little bit of issues in the grass. Nothing much though. And we're going to finish this. Oh, we have two camera views right there. Oh, we got the actual goggle. Oh, my God. Nice work. This game is just ridiculous, man. So far, first impressions of this game, hands down, as a fun factor, kills Forza. Murders it right now. So we have, they set us to medium difficulty right now, handling on pro. Uh, breaking, blah, 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 full damage, best line, no. So, I think that's what we're going to stick with right now. 
Um, your above handling mode on difficulty level has been recommended. You can change each item individually and try the settings before continuing. Settings can be changed later on in the options menu. I'm down, man. Let's go. I am so down. Here's the beginning of our career mode right now. And if you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys slap that like button as always, guys. This game is getting... Plenty of cars in your budget. You've got some nice options. Two cars in our budget. That's it? We better have a damn better option than this S3, though. I'll tell you that right now. I'm a little scared to see what's next. What is this? What is this? I can't see it. Cobalt SS? I am so not about that Cobalt life. So the next car is a Ford. What could it possibly be? Probably a Ford Focus, I'm going to say. Oh, I called it. <gasps> that Honda, though. What's the Honda? What do you guys think? What do you guys think the Honda's gonna be? Now I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna try and go two for two. It's gonna be. I'm I'm praying that's gonna be the Honda Civic. If it's a Honda CRX, I'm gonna just scream like a little schoolgirl. Are we ready for this? Civic! What year? What year? Oh, it's like the 06 model, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but it's roughly the 06 model. Um it's a solid choice right now. It's a solid choice. What else we got? MX-5. We got the Miata life. I am almost down for this Miata. I think this is the 05 version or 06. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I'm not 100% on my years. Um, so that is a solid choice right there. Rear-wheel drive. And it's going to give us you know, the proper acceleration out of corners that we need. And what is this last one going to be for Scion? Probably a Scion TC. If it's an FRS, I'm going to shit bricks. TC, yeah, called it. Okay. So we're not going to go to TC, we have the uh, Seat Leon Cupra and the Volkswagen Golf GTI. Now I think this is an easy choice and I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. The Mazda MX-5 Miata, 100% down to run that just because of the fact that we are running a rear wheel drive car um, and what gets, you know, what's better than that? I think that's the only rear wheel drive car that is available to us right now, it is. So that's what we're going to pick up. We got to go with the rear wheel drive guys, we have to. Nineteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars that leaves us with Good choice, oh. man. This is where it all begins. From here, you have the chance to do all kinds of racing. Hell yeah. If you want to reach the top, first you have to make a name for yourself at the grassroots level. I'm Try down disciplines like time attack or drifting. And soon you'll be ready for the GT3 or the Works Race series. If you succeed there, you'll be ready for a seat in the GT1 World Championship. See these cool posters? They all hold events. And the numbers on each show the driver level you'll need to enter. Okay. You're starting at level one with entry-level modern D cars. By the time you hit level 16, you'll be a full-on GT1 World Championship. Driver. Hell yeah, baby. I think you've got some real talent. Let's see how far you can take it. Yo, Von Gittin, I appreciate that, my man. All right, it's time to pick a race and get out there. All right, so we're going to go with the modern D. We have to. It's our only choice okay. right now. Let's get you back on the track. You're a part of modern D. We're starting out basic, but that doesn't mean starting out slow. Time to prove those skills, my man. Yo, I am down right now. You have no idea how hyped I am for this game right now. Like, I'm, I'm still, I still have goosebumps on this game because this game is, I feel like, what everybody wants in a game. But why has nobody taken this? Before you get started, we have to talk experience. Okay. Everything you do earns XP. Win more XP, and you'll get new cars and unlock more events. You'll take home extra cash and earn more options for buying. Ooh, that damn skyline! During a race, you earn more if you nail a perfect start from the grid, overtake another driver, or stick to the racing line. Then, after a race, you'll also earn XP bonuses. Bonuses are based on how you finish and how much you dominate the other drivers. Okay. They're also based on the objectives you've earned and whether you mastered the track. You can earn XP online too when you battle your friends in versus modes or through auto logs. No way, that's Basically, sick. To earn XP, you want to fight hard, drive fast, and win as much as you can. I'm about that life right now. All right, so here we go. We are in Shanghai right now. Two laps, $2,200 for first place right now, and I gotta figure out what is going on with my transmission right now. I need to switch this transmission though. I feel like we can put clutch on, hopefully. I'm praying that we can. 
But yeah, I mean, as I was saying, though, how come nobody hasn't taken this to a next-gen level? You know what I'm saying? I feel like this game is what everybody wants. It's got drifting. It's got circuit racing. It's got customization. It's got the cars. It's got the gameplay, the feel, the excitement. Where is this gone? And now we have games like Rivals coming out that are just a disgrace to the new speed name. You can handle it. Keep your speed up, and we'll see you on the boat. I appreciate it, Von Gittin. Like, look at this, man. Look at the effort that put into this game. We got crews around. We got everything. Here we go. Woo! Oh, we even got, like, a little view thing. That's dope. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. I'm hyped right now. All right. We're going to our first corner. Our helmet is automatically changing our view for us. Like, get out of here. This is sick, man. Okay, okay. Going into this corner. Oh, I don't want to get any damage right now. Try and get some clean passes going on. Main thing is, though, I don't want to cut this damn race too much. Oh, shit. God, we just got smashed, I think. No, nope, we're still good. We're still good. We will smash him, though. All right, this car is a lot damn, um, I would say, tedious than the R35 was. Um, it's really, really loose on the rear end. So I'm feeling that we're going to need to put something on, maybe a spoiler for the next race, hopefully. I'm hoping that downforce does play a role in this game, um, but I will say that, I mean, obviously, Forza 5 takes home, you know, the realism factor in games, it really does, but, oh my god, that was a damn hard hit, but I feel like this game, though, brings out that fun factor, and I feel like fun factor, compared to realism factor, wins 10 out of 10 times, I mean, it's a proven fact with sales, look at Mario Kart, look at, you know, all those other games, look at Need for Speed, oh shit! We were drifting this thing. Oh my god, we saved it. I can't believe that. Whew! We got it, though. We got it. Alright. I am liking the graphics, though. I mean, compared to what I was expecting this game to be, very, very nice. Um, very, very nice scenery, you know, the track, everything. Even the car layouts. Alright, we don't want to get too far on this man here. We need to beat this guy up in front, though. He's just chilling up here. We need to make a... We need to make something happen right now. That's what we need to do. Take that pass. Oh, that overtake. Oh, he's right on our left side right now. We're going to try and cut this ever so slightly. Bad move. Bad mistake. Come on. Oh, shit. We're losing it. We got it. We got it. Oh, my God. Baby Jesus right now. Look out for me. I'm going to take this a little bit harder. Here we go. We're going to try and get the run on him, this man. This guy's kicking stones at us, man. I heard it. Come on! This guy is literally throwing rocks at us whenever time he goes over one of them. Oh, shit! God! That is not good right now. We just ate shit on that corner. Oh, my God. All right. We need to restart that. Oh, my God. We just Let's have a quick look at that replay, though. Let's see what happened right now. So we both got air, made a little contact, and we just both right into the wall. That thing is almost done. My front end actually is not that bad considering what just happened. So that's all right though. So we are gonna restart this though because we obviously are not gonna make it in first place. So we do need to restart the event. This is the tightest Shanghai circuit. So I'll come back at you guys when we're on the second lap. too fast and you'll ruin the next corner. Alrighty guys, here we are coming into the second lap right now, the last lap of this race. And hopefully we can keep this consistent. We had a pretty good first lap right now. Um, we are in this third person, or not the third person, we are in the first person cinematic view. And this thing is dope, man. I love this camera angle. I cannot get over this camera angle as well, too. We have the ability to look around in the cockpit, which is nice. Oh shit, did not mean to hop that. We don't want to get too swirly right now. We hopped it twice, oh my god. But yeah, we have the ability to look at our mirrors, which is a first and you know, a lot of our racing games that we play because Forza does not give you the ability to do so because of the way that it's set up. So here we go though, we're coming in. As long as we can hold this first place right now, where is this man? We sit on the left mirror, there we go. We're looking good right now and I want to try and get some of this damn lettering off the damn screen though. So here's the jump that we hit last time that put us right into the damn wall. Be a little bit more cautious coming into this corner. Look at it. Oh, my God. Okay. Whew. Game feels good, though, man. It really does. 
very, very solid mechanics in the gameplay. As I said, if you guys have not played this game at all, um, I would say go and pick this game up. And I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't play this game sooner, you know what I mean? I really am. And I'm kind of disappointed that I never played the first Shift game. Um, so that's another disappointment because honestly, these games, they look really good. They look really well played out. Um, very solid you know, graphics, gameplay, fun factor. We won, yeah! Awesome game. We did take our first victory home right there. $2,200. Hopefully we can rank up. Nope, not yet. Alright, so that is going to be the first race done right now. We're looking good, man. We're looking very good. Awesome driving. You just set your first record in Autolog. Autologs where you can meet up with your friends in the Need for Speed community. You'll have your own personalized driver profile. That's dope. You'll be able to see the stats on your victories, rewards, and favorites. And you'll be set an alert at any time a new record is set. That your Bugatti, though. Recommend events and Autolog will suggest others in the recommend section. You can share photos and replays in the gallery. You may be alone behind the wheel, but Autolog opens up a world of community and rivalry. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think, and do not, well, don't burst my bubble, but I think the damn online is still online, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that people are still there. So, that'd be nice. Um, man, this game is just something else, though. It really is. So, what we're going to be doing right now, we're going to go back right here, because we got to figure out what the hell is going down here. So, what I want to do is I want to go back to the main menu. Uh, we're going to go to options, because I feel... Like something is not on right now. Controls maybe? Oopsie. Uh, oh, there we go. What the? F Our gearing is set to automatic. I'm done right now. I was still shifting, but I was wondering why sometimes it was shifting without me. That was weird. All right, so we're going to. Uh, this is the garage. We can actually tune. Oh all right. my god. Customization is all about perfecting your car. You can transform your car from a stock. Whoa, we're getting some lag. No, no, no! What the hell's going on? Come on now. Oh, look at that customization though. That's dope. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna try and skip this so we don't have to worry about our game freezing. Come on! Yo, I bought this from GameStop. It was used, but it should have been brand new. Our disc looks fine, so I don't understand why we're having this issue right here. Can I just skip this? Should have the ability to skip it though, right? Okay, well, let's just look at what we got here. So we have engine, looks like we have transmission, we have aspiration swaps, suspension, brakes, tires, looks like chassis upgrades, NOS, and looks like full-on racing modifications on the far right side. So this game has a pretty in-depth system that I'm very much looking forward to, you know, kind of familiar familiarizing myself with it. Because this game looks dope, man. Look at the Super right now. Look at how much work is done to this thing. We have seat modifications, roll cages, rims, tires, like paint jobs galore, spoilers, everything, man. I am so stoked to start playing this game. I'm excited. Um, I'm really excited for the drifting, though. That's, like, my main thing right now that I'm just like, oh, my God, let me play. You know, I want to drift. I want to slide. You know what I'm saying? All right, what the hell is going down right here? You know what? Jeez, man. It's not cool game, not Oh, you'll there we go. The full works conversion. Okay. Install enough upgrades and soon you'll be able to convert your production model into a straight up race car. Once you start customizing, the possibilities are endless. See what works best for you and have fun. All right. Now that we actually got that working, so we have upgrade categories right now that we can do. Um, I wonder if these cost money. I don't all oh, they do too. Track coilovers. So these are really like these are kind of like a realistic style. I mean, coilovers probably would cost that much in terms of you know racing coilovers and stuff like that too. Uh, braking we don't really or is that that is drive line. Okay, that's clutch, diff, and transmission. So it looks like each category actually has their own thing. So for engine we have air intake, exhaust, camshafts, valve train block and lower end, um, fuel, delivery, injection, flywheel, and an engine swap as well too. So I mean like just look at the amount of detail that's in this game. Like we have camshaft upgrades. Where was the one that I saw? The block upgrade. Where'd it go? Right here. We can increase the bore on theirs as well too. So full range of power increase at stock RPMs. 
um, long stroke crank rods. Like, look at all this stuff, man. This is dope. This is this is full customization if I've ever seen it myself. And we can throw on body kits if we wanted to. Weight reduction and cockpit, so we can do full on racing cockpits, which is dope. So I'm assuming that's going to be a full on strip of the uh, cockpit. Wow! Look at that Miata in the background. Let's have a little peek at this right here. That is gorgeous, man. All right, so what do we want to do right now? Let's maybe throw on maybe a body kit. Not. We're gonna do, I think, engine upgrade first. Um, look at all the upgrades on that thing, man. It's ridiculous. So what we'll do? How much cash do we have? Twenty nine hundred. Um, what do I want to do right now? So if we do the engine itself, just the high flow stock filter with the air intakes. Um, not too much of an increase, but we do get into the big boy increases when we do go into the exhaust and, you know, stuff like that as well too. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the large diameter sport intake. Um, that's from the cat back. So we're going to install that, um, competition cams. We could do that. That's a pretty damn big increase of, um, ex acceleration and top end speed as well. Now valve train, um, we could go with maybe a bore increase on the head. That's actually quite a bit of increase on that. So I think we'll do that. And then we have um, just enough to do a Pro Street spec flywheel. So that's 15% lighter. That's going to give us a lot quicker engine revs off the line as well too. So we're going to put that on there. And that is exactly our budget right there. That's everything. I'm assuming we can do rims. Can we do rims right now? I don't see anything for rims. So that is it for our upgrades on the car. Um, what else do we have right now? We can do, I think we can do something else as well. So we have garage right here, tuning. Uh, we just did upgrades, we have tuning and visual. So let's go with maybe tuning on here. So we'll create a tune, let's see what we can do here. Look at all this, man. Oh my God, we can do steering lock? Oh my God, though. That is dope. Okay, so we can't really do much right now. But look at all the options that we have to go with right now. This is absolutely unbelievable. I feel like this is going to be a longer Let's Play to the Few, but it's going to be a lot more entertaining Let's Play to the Few. And if it does get dull, um, I will definitely, definitely, definitely stop it. Um, and I will, you know, kind of lean towards you guys to let me know if it is not working out or you guys are getting bored of the Let's Play. So do not worry about that. We will be making sure that it does, you know, stay, stay active and you know, stay fresh. I'm going to try and buy as many cars as possible. Ooh, we have access to different rims right off the bat. But unfortunately, has to be... We don't have that many right now. All that we have is this, and we can't even put them on because we need to be driver level 4. So, we're just going to have to work our way up to it. We're going to go back into the career mode. We're going to do a couple more races and see if we can unlock anything else right now. So, modern, we have one out of two events done. This is the second event right here. So... This is a two-lap event as well, too, and this is on another Shanghai race. We have a lot of straight straights on this one here. Um, so tips, recommendations, receive a lot of uh, receive and send recommendations of events to your friends. Blah blah blah. There we go, man. This game is absolutely insane, though. Right off the bat, though, I don't feel really overwhelmed with the game. I mean, a lot of games that have this much detail and this much customization, you start to feel overwhelmed, and you know, I think. I'm trying to think of the biggest game that's overwhelming the most. Um, you know what? I'd like to know your thoughts and maybe I'll get be a better intense. idea. Monza but let me know on the dirt. game that has really overwhelmed fight. you the most right off the bat. And I mean, a lot of RPGs do that as well. Green, that's a green light. Push, push, push. Oh shit, I forgot. Why do we have driving line on? driving line on again? I don't want that on, sir. Thank you. We will turn on stability control for this. Um, just as I said, we are on the controller now, so it's a little bit different. Um, but I feel like we'll be okay, though. Here we go. All right, we got our manual shifting now. We got to kind of work our way back up the pack. It's all right, though. What the hell is going on? We got Leafs and everything like that? That is too, that is too damn sick right there. It's a very, very nice track, though, man. The cinematic angles when you're racing is just unbelievable. Take this inside or this outside on this man. Here we go. We're looking good. We're getting that draft life though, and we got that increased RPM here. Oh, we're we'll doing 160 right now. Give us some room, man. 
Yeah, give us some room. I'll push you right out the way. Oh my god, dude! Shit! Is this a big corner? Not really. It's decent, though. Oh my god, I hear like a lawnmower in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Jesus, man. Oh, we got 11. We're drafting some more. We're going to get some more run on here for drafting. So these laps are going to go quick, man. And this guy is far ahead of us right now. I really feel like right off the bat from that stretch, we need to get a better run on him. Or we're going to just have to take these corners a lot better. And these guys are breaking very hard. Ah! I knew it was going to happen, but I thought that was really the only way that I could have got back into first place was Stop trying to overshoot the, the corner. Get ready. Well, not on, overshoot it, but, you know, hold the line as we uh, were breaking. All right. Let's make this happen one more time. we got to make sure we get out in front right away, though. Ooh, look at that. We got the run on this right off the launch, though. Here we go. We're making it to the first corner. We got the Miata Miata right in front of us. Woo! All right. We're looking good, man. The steering range on this game is really nice, actually. You just got to listen to your RPMs on this car. Oh, okay. I love that you can hear all the debris and everything like that hitting outside, man. That is so sick. So we have first place. Looks like locked down at the moment here. There we go. Loving the shifting right now. We're getting that tunnel vision. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Coming into that, man. We were doing 180K. Here we go, man. This is some intense racing, though. And honestly, I feel some epic races coming down on this game once we, you know, we get a solid car, some solid upgrades going down. But, I mean, like I said, though, I'm very excited to start drifting on this game. I think that's one of my biggest things that I want to start doing. And I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are on the game so far. You know, what do you feel? What do you like? Oh, we just got to level up, though. I was wondering what the hell that was, man. It sounded like someone was breathing in my damn headset. I was like, what the hell is that? Come on, RX8. You ain't got shit, man. Here we go. Downshift it. It's a little bit of an outside corner there. Keep our speed up. We do not want this man drafting us right now at all. But, looks like he is getting a little bit of a run on us, though. Not by much, though. We're at high speed, though. Woo! Oh, shit! Hold that inside line right now. Looking good, though. This fourth gear probably should not be in at the moment, but it's all right, though. We're going to push through it. And it looks like we're going to be taking home this checkered flag as long as this RX-8 doesn't have some NOS or anything like that. If he does, then we're screwed. But we've been leading this whole damn race. We should be good. Yeah, look how far back he is. We, we got this, man. Hell yeah. It feels good to be a winner, doesn't it? Oh, it does, Von Gittin. It does. I can't believe that it's him doing the commentary, though. That's sick. That is absolutely sick. We have $2,200, we got a level up and a driver level bonus. We have primitive vinyls right there, hell yeah, man. And a $2,000 bonus too. I am so about that damn life right now. Let's save this up and we're gonna head the hell back. We're gonna go back into our garage and see what's going down. So get a podium position in either the GT3 or Works Championship and you'll be invited into the big leagues. Winning the FIA GT1 World Champs is the ultimate accolade. Unlocked. Hot lap gauntlet. Okay. Okay. I'm about it. Alright, so congratulations. You win the following badge. Modern D single exhibitions. Get a podium finish in all events and modern D single exhibits. Or exhibitions, my bad. My bad. My bad, John. Alright, man. So, so far, I mean, we're looking good. Um, we have, we beat both of those. We're going to be going into the modern D, but we have a little bit more money now. So why don't we go put a little bit more upgrades into this damn car right now? All right. So, um, you know what? Let's actually see what's in the car lot. Because I'm debating whether or not if we should wait to buy some cars and see. So what do we got? We got an Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. We have a BMW Alpine B6 GT3. Car looks dope. Aston Martin DB9 Coupe. Awesome car. Aston Martin DBR9 GT1. Car looks like it would rip my damn head off my shoulders right there. Audi R8 LMS. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's a that's a very high road car right there. Bentley Continental Super Sports Coupe, man. Oh my god, this brings back memories right now. It's a big bitch right there. 135i Coupe, solid car. We got the Bugatti Veyron. Obviously, got to have the Bugatti in there, man. You know what I'm saying? The Caterham Superlight. Okay, bringing up some Forza 5 action. I didn't know that this car was actually in any other games. That's sick. We have the modern Camaro SS. Beautiful car. V8 big block in that bitch. Oh my god. Dodge Challenger concept. Is it a 69 Charger? Nope. Or 69 Challenger. Um, Alright, we got the Ford Escort Cosworth. Nice. Gumpert Apollo. I remember that from Forza 4. That was a solid track car. Honda Civic SI, like we saw already. We have the Infiniti G35. Dope car. Jaguar XKR, beautiful car as well. The Conan Sag CCX, very nice to see that in the game. The Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 GT3. Man, there's a lot of GT3 cars in this, and they're going to be dope to drive. I cannot wait. Lexus ISF, Lotus Elise, a 111R. Oh, my God, though. Maserati Gran Turismo S, beautiful car. And we got our Mazda MX-5. A little bit of a mix here. We got a $120,000 Maserati. Then we have a $19,000 Miata next to a $2 or $2 million McLaren. God. We also have the Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5 Evolution 2. Oh, shit. What did I just do? I didn't mean to sort that. All right. Let's go back up to... Uh, we got that. Okay, where's our Mercedes? There we go. Okay. So now, next up is the SLR McLaren 722. Beautiful damn car right there. Oh, my God. We better start getting some money, man, to afford these things. We have the S14. Yes. Now, i like to know where the damn Skylines are. Because they're not in Nissan right there. Unless we have to unlock them. Pagani Waira. Hell, yeah, man. That's a dope car. 911 GT2. We have the Radical. Okay. Feeling at home with these Forza cars right now. Like I said, I'm new to the series of shifts, so these are all new to me, man. Scion TC, which we already saw. Seat Leon, Cobra 427. Hell yeah, man. Nice to see that in the game for damn sure. We have the Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Another awesome car. We have the 86 making an appearance in the game. That is dope. And the Volkswagen Golf GTI. Now, I got a feeling like we're missing some cars, man. I don't know why, unless I have to unlock them. But, I mean, we're missing the Supra. We're missing the Skylines, which we saw the R35 in the game. So, it's got to be here. So, I don't know where they are. So, hopefully, they're still here. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping. Now, we're going to do one more race right now. You know what? What's Someone this hotline goblin? Lend you some sweet cars. We're talking Aston Martins and Porsches. Woo! Beat the lap target times and build up your XP. All right, so these are time trial events. We get to use the cars that are given to us in here. So loaner car today is the Alfa Romeo 86 Competition. As I am down for this damn thing right now. Brands hatch. Oh shit! We have my friends playing here. Best analog speed wall. So we have DMI Fox with a 52 seconds. Okay, that is sick to see that right now. Tips. Individual location, set up your car for one particular location, blah blah blah. This car is gonna rip. Okay, two corners to perfect. Woo! Paddock Hill is a downhill punch and great. Oh my day. god, here we go. Druids, a slow hairpin with an uphill approach. Good luck. Oh shit, we're going right into the wall. Okay, I was not ready for that corner, gentlemen. First time driving on here, alright? Alright, okay, okay. Give me some slag right now. What is this thing red line at? 7,000. I'll try, man. I'll try. Take this corner a little bit easier. Oh, coming downhill on that is ruthless right now. We have to try that one more time. That downhill section is absolutely ruthless. You really awesome need to be hard on the brakes coming down there. Alright, the here we go. Come on, nail this one. We are just working this damn car right here. Coming hard on this exit. There we go. Now keep in mind, I have no driving line on, alright? So, you guys may be asking me, you know, put the driving line on. Hell no, man. That's not fun. Driving line is what makes 
a racing game not fun because you're not doing anything you're you're following the computer's line and you don't want to follow you want to make your own line and that's what racing is feeling the road oh shit even though it could make you suck oh stay on the track right now we're so high outside on that I wish we could get to race with other people, but that wouldn't really make it for, you know, a time trial event, so. Alright, so we need to try and get a solid time right here. Oh, we just double shifted by accident. We wow, beat all the targets. Unbelievable. How do we beat the targets? The I ain't gonna complain any bit. But we beat the hard targets, so I'm impressed. I'm happy with that. We had 53 seconds on that. Oh my god. I am down right there. Hell yeah. Leveled up as well. $3,000 cash bonus. New metallic paint. Woo! Gentlemen, I'm hyped. Let's have a little look at this in the replay angles right now. The replay angles are absolutely dope, man. We gotta stop this damn music in the background. Hold on, gentlemen. I don't understand why we got music playing, but this car felt great. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the Let's Play today. It was a special long episode considering it was the first episode of this Let's Play. Make sure you guys slap that like button as always. I want to see at least 500 likes come on up for this. We unlocked a new Modern C Invitational right now. Oh my god, gentlemen. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, let me know what you guys are looking forward to seeing on Need for Speed Shift 2. And I will see you guys back here for tomorrow for another Let's Play of this game. Chibota Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.